Yeah, I'm in your town, I'm coming your way, just wait up Me and my team ain't taking no L's, I told them you don't wanna play us We going out town with a flight in the morning, said fuck it, I'm just gonna stay up Remember last year, I told them the price, and now they all wanna pay up Good morning, guys It is 6.45 a.m. Today, I am going to the gym with a friend I was planning on sleeping in today But he said, hey, let's go to the gym in the morning so I said, okay, fine. That's life. There's a callous your mind. This is what the parking lot for the gym looks like. Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Sucking empty. People are slacking. There's the plug. I'm just gonna stay up. Remember last year, I told them the price, and now they all wanna pay up. They hit me now, they coming too late. All I reply is to save up. Me and my guys, we did it ourselves, so no one can say that they made us. They gave me the shit, they trying to guard me. I told them you gotta go straight up. We eating for days, I've been in the gym, I swear that I'm getting my weight up. Yeah. Oh, I seen it all, you overt. Hop up in a whip, watch this skirt. I might risk it all for you first. Saturday morning, eh? Saturday morning. All for you first. Meet me in the night, shit get worse. Nice day. Good workout. Yeah, what great workout. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so now I'm going to Muay Thai. Got a client meeting in 15 minutes. I gotta quickly run to first. Drop this fucker off. And uh, happy days. And then I'll show you guys the uh, expensive apartment I rented for the weekend. Lifestyle of a young entrepreneur, I guess. You know, I'm finally making those cringy videos. So, but you can scroll back to the beginning of my channel where I was like dead broke. Literally, my first YouTube video is me working for 25 bucks an hour cleaning a hair salon, which was disgusting. Literally disgusting, like cleaning hair off the floor. And now we're doing Tanger and a month. So, hopefully, you don't mind the cheesy inspirational videos, but. Let's head to Muay Thai. I'll record some clips, maybe not too many, because I don't want to. I want to focus in the class, and then I'll catch you at the expensive apartment. All right, guys, what's going on? We are in the big ass apartment downtown Montreal. It's actually super modern. Uh, ISO is kind of bright. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Super modern apartment. Very nice. Uh, 300 something bucks a night to rent. Very nice view. 12th floor. Nice balcony I can jump off. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, uh, yeah, no, I thought I would just uh, kind of 
vlog experience, solo living right now. Uh, I have to run and get my girlfriend soon, but uh, pretty cool experience. The kind of things you can do when you actually have money, um, which you know I'm looking forward to a life of that. Right now, my life is kind of just like grinding, and uh, you know working towards getting enough money to live like this. But it's nice to have a taste of it every once in a while to remind yourself, uh, you know. Not necessarily what I'm working for, I'm not working just for this, but, you know, to remind yourself that you belong here and, you know, anything is for the taking. So, let me kind of turn the camera around, get a, get a better shot of this place. Nice little modern apartment. Nice view, 12th floor. Oh, trippy. Oh, man. Sorry, guys, I'm not so good with camera settings. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, I'm gonna run and get my girlfriend now because she's been waiting on me, but here I am recording a fucking YouTube video. Uh, but it feels good to dress up, have a nice watch on, you know, crisp shirt and, uh, you know, splurge on this kind of thing every once in a while. Just to remind yourself, you know, just do these kind of things, you know, like, you don't need to wait to enjoy life. You don't need to wait to spend your money. It's, you know, it's here for the taking. Everything's here. Enjoy life as it comes to you. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to enjoy this beautiful view, watch the Euros tomorrow, uh, chill on the couch, have a good weekend, and uh, yeah, no, sick apartment, man, sick apartment. This is kind of like the solo entrepreneur lifestyle I kind of want to live, like I want to have one of these and just like wake up and grind and I like live here alone and I sit at the table and I open my laptop, check my notifications, do emails, but uh, I can't afford that just yet, but it's nice to spend like a weekend or two in here and uh, kind of get a taste for it. You don't mind if I record a quick clip? <laughs> <coughs> All right guys, so as you saw, I rented an expensive Montreal apartment downtown. It was like 600 bucks for one day and a night. Uh, then we went downtown Montreal and then I stopped recording because for a guy with a vlog YouTube channel, I'm pretty shitty at picking up the camera and vlogging. But anyways, as the title of this video describes, this is my first time kind of splurging and spending money um, as a young entrepreneur. So other things I wasted my money on this week. I bought this fucking iPhone 15 Pro, which was like, I don't know, $1,600. Um, I bought this fit, nice fit. Um, that <laughs> I also bought like five different uh, other pieces, but it was pretty expensive. It was like almost $2,000 I spent today on fucking clothes. So we just spent, how much did we spend, bub? Right, how much so did you spend? How much did I spend? That was 1600. Like compared to like Iman Gadzi, like it's not a lot, but yeah. like for a first time shopping spree, first time making 10K a month, first time like splurging, that was a lot of fucking money. So Belen told me to throw out my fit immediately, which I don't know, it seems kind of rude to me. I think I had some style, but apparently my drip was not dripping. So anyways, we went to a nice store, went to a bougie store uh, in the mall, very nice store, like a gentlemanly store, and now mm -hmm. we're gonna go, where are we going next? To the budget store for his ass, because exactly. he's broke. So I still need to get a belt, bought some cologne, bought $1,600 worth of bougie shit, so I can look, you know, the old money aesthetic, and uh... I didn't know that cotton could be so fucking expensive. Um... I mean, there was a bottle of cologne, a pair of shoes in there as well. But like, seriously, what the fuck? But anyways, yeah. So went clothes shopping, bought a new phone, expensive Montreal apartment. I actually spent like 5K in completely useless, um, indulgent luxury pleasures this week. So maybe I'm being fucking stupid with my money. But um, I got a nice haircut as well. So maybe I'm just being completely irresponsible with my new money, my uh, newly earned money. But uh, 
I mean, these are lessons that I learned along the way and I'm documenting them. So maybe this will all blow up in my face and I'll laugh at myself in two months time when I'm broke. But I don't think that's going to happen. So I did want to document the process of, you know, getting money for the first time, spending it. Hopefully this can motivate you. Having money is as good as they fucking say it is. Because it's nice to like not be able to look at the price tag and, you know, order fucking lunch for your family and not have to worry about it dipping into your savings or anything um, because you have income from your business. So that's pretty nice. Uh, so I just thought I'd make this video to inspire you guys and also like document, you know, my first couple W's with the business. Hopefully it continues to go in an upward trajectory and I don't fuck all this up. But either way, it'll be documented. It'll be entertaining. So, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully there was some semblance of enjoyment you found in that. Uh, I'm looking for a video editor. Comment below if uh, that's your thing. Because I no longer have time to make these videos now that I'm focused just on the business and making money. And I'm about to go back to university, which is a whole separate topic, whole separate video. Um, I'll get better. But guys, thank you once again for watching. And I will see you in the next one.